Now, everybody who's watching, let's get RBT to 500,000 subscribers by Christmas. He's the best Madden scientist there is. I subscribe to him. And if you don't subscribe to, your favorite team is going to lose to the I'm not saying that team. Oh, look at Alvin Kamara. It's the face of Madden Science. As today, back with some more Madden Science, as we're going to see what happens if you put a full 99 overall team up against a full zero overall team. We're gonna play a full game, CPU versus CPU, full like, we'll do six minute quarters and see what the heck the score ends up being. I mean, it's probably gonna be a score literally every single play, so we'll see if the CPU literally can score like 300 points on the zero overall team. So this might be an absolute madness, so hopefully guys do enjoy today's Madden Science. And if you do make sure to smash that like button, let's see if we can smash. Let's go for 4,000 likes on today's experiment. Make sure to subscribe if you are new and turn on the notification bell if you haven't. And it's really important once again to subscribe because we do hit 400,000 subscribers by Christmas. My Christmas giveaway is going to be up to give away three Xbox One Xs and three PS4 Pro. So extremely important that you guys do click that subscription button if you haven't. It literally takes you a millisecond. First thing, the full team of 99 overall players. 99 overall across the board. Literally every single player in today's gameplay, 9 overall, as good as you can possibly be. And you'll see some in there, like you'll see some like break tackle, for like a defensive tackle as like 10. And that's because when you're editing like rosters offline, there's some attributes that you can't edit. So that's why some of them aren't 99. But every single player has 99 and every single attribute that could be edited. And on the flip side, the team the Vikings are going to be playing is going to be the full zero overall team, which is going to be the Green Bay Packers. Now, the only difference is I gave everybody on the zero overall team 90 speed. And the reason being, because you guys have seen, if a player has zero speed, it is literally impossible for them to do anything. Just so that they don't score in literally every single play just because they're faster than them, I gave them 90 speed, so at least they have some bit of a chance to at least, like, get into position where they need to be because if it wasn't they weren't fast didn't have like if they had zero speed it would literally be like stupid to watch it would be boring to watch so with that it is time now cpu versus cpu so for the heck of it we'll let the zero overall team be the home team and i don't know why it says there are 70 overall because as we saw obviously they're not a 70 overall and once again, I wonder if it'll say the Vikings, who are the 9 overall team. It does say they're 9 overall. So hey, for some reason, the one team is correct, the other isn't. So as you see, I'm not controlling either team, so this is going to be a blast for me to watch. For the competitive, now what is simulation game type? Exhibition, 6 minute quarters, let it be a nighttime game, and why not let it, we'll let it snow. So with that said, officially time to find out what would happen if a full 9 overall team went up against a full 0 overall team. Guys, get ready for an absolute doozy as the zero overall team starts the game off by kicking off. And I just want to point it out there, this game took a total of 3 hours and 15 minutes to start to finish. Now, as you probably would expect, play number 1, the 99 overall team scores. Kirk Cousins to Stefan Diggs, 99 overall. And just like that, I'm not, I don't want to like spoil it or anything, but yeah, the zero overall team doesn't win this game. As <laughs> it's just it's just gonna be a fun recording, isn't it? As it's a fumble, but thank God for the zero overall team. It wasn't recovered for a touchdown. They tried to get out of their own end zone and they didn't get a safety. But Jamal Williams, what a guy, even as a zero overall, got four yards in his first attempt. And look at that punt, dude. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Nice 20 yard punt from the zero overall punter from the Green Bay Packers. First down and 10, Dalvin Cook with the handoff, but guys. He actually doesn't score. Mental scenes here. First to go, another handoff, but second time is a charm. As just like that's a two possession game, I think at this point, my dudes, the zero overall team is outscored third and 12. And uh, looks like Aaron Rodgers trying to throw the ball to the snowflake. And it is going to set up for a fourth down and 12. They punt the football. As this, this was just an absolute freaking doozy. As look at this. One play, a strike. But that was Adam Thielen with the touchdown reception. As just like that, in the blink of an eye, 21 to nothing, and they even want to show you those three plays, because it's atrocious. Look at it. Look at that punt, dude. Absolutely majestic. And I think roughly about five to seven yards in the air. So next play, little dump off to Adam Thielen, easy money. As just like that, not even four minutes in, the 99 overall team takes a 28 to nothing lead. And look at it again. They go minus 10 yards. They have to punt again. As look at this one, dudes. 
it's actually going to be a turnover. A turnover for the 99 overall team. The zero overall team gets the ball in the month point, so having a zero overall punter sometimes actually has its positives. As all, oh man, it all leads to this. They probably actually would have been better off if they didn't recover the muff punt as a fumble recovery. As this is just going to be a long day for the Packers. As that was actually the closest pass we've seen to a completion from the zero overall team all game long. As handoff to Mr. Dalvin. And look, he actually fumbled the football. Yeah, they recovered. But still, the fact that a zero overall team made a 99 overall team fumble again is insane. But they recover an easy money. I don't even know if that counted as a ladder or not. Who cares? The fine digs. Touchdown. As the Vikings, I don't even know how many points they have. Like 40 points already, dude. Not even halfway through the second quarter yet. Second down and 11. And what is this going to be? Now we have stars on the field. Literal stars underneath players as they force fumbles. That's another scoop and score. That's where that, like the third or fourth scoop and score already in this ballgame. Almost 50 points already. A play action pass here. And it's going to be another sack. Thank God that time for the Packers. Aaron actually hung on to the football. And look at it, they get the ball right back after another five yard punt and a dime to an open Stefan Diggs with a no zero overall player within like 20 to 30 yards of him in the end zone. It was 56 to nothing. Third down and 11. Aaron Rodgers, oh, look at it. Oh man, it's gonna get repetitive, dudes. That's 60 points on another scoop and score. Aaron Rodgers, I know he's a zero overall and all, but dude, you've got to hang on to the football as they are once again not in the greatest of situations, trying to just maybe even run the clock out. Third down and 27. I don't even know if the zero overall can throw the ball 27 yards. And it's actually going to be an incomplete pass, as I don't know if, you know, the 99 overall team has enough time to score. That was a joke. That was supposed to be hilarious. One play, touchdown. Every single pass attempt in this half up to this point has ended up in a touchdown pass. So 70 points in the first half. But this right here is the most exciting play of the entire half. The zero overall team actually ran for a first down. Aaron Jones, I mean, it did take, you know, a 10-yard carry or 12-yard rush to bring him over the positive yard marker. But now he has three positive yards on the game. But apparently they couldn't keep the momentum up. They didn't care to run hurry up, being down 70 points, as it is halftime. As it uh, is pretty much what we expected. It's already seven sacks in one half for Danielle Hunter. I just think it's even funnier that the Vikings have 70 points on the board with 183 yards of total offense. And once again, dude, I wouldn't even do this in slow motion. Literally, Aaron Rodgers looking for the grass pedal. So they punted the football. It's going to be another pass, which means another touchdown. Please, that's Kyle Rudolph with the touchdown reception as that's once again more points for the 99 overall team. But what can the Packers get going here? It's going to be a play-action pass, and a play-action pass normally leads to scooping scores, but thank God for the zero overall team, they actually didn't scoop and score this one, but it is at the 12-yard line, I mean, I don't know what, what does it even matter, they know they're going to score, they're throwing the football, another dot, and now Adam Thielen has gold stars underneath him, and I just wanted to point out this celebration, one of the most interesting celebrations I've ever seen, teleportation, telekinesis, Adam Thielen, what a guy, he might need to be locked up by the FBI, I just rhymed, don't even try to call me anything other than Edgar Allan bro. With that said, a 4th down and 13, another punt. <laughs> I put that in the highlights because that is probably the best punt of the entire video. I think that went a net two yards. As a handoff here, Dalvin Cook, these are actually the actual highlights of the game when they actually run off into play and don't score. But uh, <laughs> if they don't score in the first play of a drive, I think we've all got to the understanding that they're going to score in the second play more than likely. As it is now 90 points to get the ball again, one play drive. As even though they have the ball at like the 16-yard line, that's because that's how far they pointed the ball every single time. Because the field position isn't too great every drive for the zero overall team. And look at this one. I think that's actually the first interception thrown to the ball game. Wilson with the pick. Most surprising thing about that, zero overall Aaron Rodgers had the throw power to get the ball out to the hash mark for the interception. But, uh, oh god, now Dalvin Cook has a red star underneath him. That's not even a star. Why have I been calling the star? It's a freaking X. Dude, how do I get, how does a man get X's and stars mixed up? Anyways, who cares about shapes? This is not a mathematics course. As it's a touchdown, and once again, the X is now lit up. The X lit up means more broken tackles as Dalvin Cook into the end zone. As if you didn't already notice, the Vikings now have over 100 points, and we are just now getting into the fourth quarter. So what's the fourth quarter going to bring? Oh, what do you know? Another fumble. And it looks like it is going to be another scoop in the score. So that makes it 
118 points for the 99 overall team. Can they make it to 150? That's the question. They get the ball back with the red X of Dalvin Cook. But look at them. Even with the red X, the defense, the front seven of the zero overall team coming up clutch. Once again, as the trend continues, though they don't score in the first play, they're going to score in the second. As Red Dalvin Cook with the touchdown as he's flying away. Now 125 points next play. It's uh, it's just not pretty from the zero overall Aaron Rodgers. As that's another pick six as they very well could eclipse the 150 point mark. If Aaron Rodgers and the Packers keep turning the ball over, they punted the football. Of course they did because they're not going to score points. As Dalvin Cook, the red fiery Dalvin Cook, up the middle, quick strike once again. <laughs> it's just, it just feels like it's getting so repetitive. That's because it is, dude. Third down and 28 now. Back up in their own end zone. They're going to run the football, and this time, they're not going to avoid the safety. Crazy enough, that's only the first safety of the entire game that does make it 141 to nothing. With a minute and 30 seconds left to go. The question is, how many more points can they score? Well, as you see on this play, that at least means six more points. As that's uh like there's literally nobody like 50 yards between tackling him. It's a 70 yard touchdown for like the third string running back. As that is going to be 148 to nothing. 45 seconds left to go, but that does not mean there cannot be more points for the 99 overall team. At pick six on what was supposed to be a halfback screen, only a zero overall team can actually accomplish that. It's actually extremely impressive. So it's 155 to nothing. That's gotta be it, right? Wrong. <laughs> Another fumble. And he gets up. And th this is probably my favorite play of the entire game. He's like, oh man, we're already winning 155 to nothing. I'm just gonna let them tackle me. But no, he slowly walks and speeds up like a lion. As that is 162 points. As that is finally going to end the misery for the zero overall team. As the 99 overall Minnesota Vikings with six minute quarters come out of here with the W 162 to nothing. I'm actually, it's funny how ecstatic Mike Zimmer was after the clock kicked zero. I'm not sure if he was happy that it won or happy it was just freaking over. As we see these final stats, Kirk Cousins, every single completion was a touchdown. As we move on to the receiving stats, every single catch for the Minnesota Vikings and 99 overall team also was a touchdown. And my favorite stat of the entire game was the defensive stats. As you see, Danielle Hunter with 12, or actually 13 sacks in the ball game. Over 20 times Aaron Rodgers was sacked today as what a game. Negative 148 total passing yards for the zero overall team. So the answer to the question in the title of the video is, you know, the 99 overall team wins by a lot.